Embrace the lack of identity. Create your own. Hufflepuffs don't have a strict reputation. We're not expected to show an aptitude for charms, potions, or transfiguration. We don't stereotypically exude courage or power or wit. Here we have witches and wizards of all makes, all families, all lives. We're still ambitious and brave and wise, but we don't compromise our other features. We are exactly what we make ourselves out to be. Number three, badgers are awesome. <laughs> drink tea and write poetry, so do so. Grass and flowers are open for musing just beyond our windows. We are toasty and warm in our burrows and have the comfiest pillows, so it's obviously the best place to be poetic, prophetic, creative, and innovative. Grab a will and a quill and a cozy chair and prepare your words and wits for the weekly Hufflepuff Poetry Slam. Poetry in Contantum. Number five, badgers are fucking awesome. Number six, in case you hadn't figured it out, the head of Hufflepuff is the herbology master. We are a bunch of stoners, magically mushrooms, and bippity boppity plays. Not to corrupt you for first years, but seriously, why do you think we're so happy and hugging people all the time? We're gonna have some fun. Number seven, abandon all hope of winning the Quidditch Cup. Our seekers may excel at finding the snitch, but our catchers, chasers can't catch him. Do you really think our beaters are going to do much with those bats? Number eight, Nymphadora 